Hello you beautiful lot, welcome to today's episode of Purple Vision. Now I made my way to London, I'm at St Pancras Station, because it is as magnificent as it is. But I've done a couple of little visits to some museums. So I went to London Transport Museum and then I went over to Kew Water and Steam Museum. So I didn't actually do an intro for doing the Transport Museum. So I suppose this is it. So come with me now and we'll go check out London Transport Museum. I hope you enjoy. It's a good one. Here we are then. Oh, London Transport Museum. That's a big hat. Let's have a look at the goods. Migrations. There you are. London taxis, the route master. Wow, look at that. Oh, nice. <laughs> it's all very dark. Oh, but very nice. See one of these at the Wellingborough bus rally. It's epic. Of course, I love me buses, but it's not the main reason why I'm here. Ha, I'm here because of these, look. Proper tube stock. Ooh, wonder if you can go in and have a look, eh? Oh, wow, look at that. This is... Leyland Motors. Ah, uh, we had Leyland Estate in Wellingborough. Thomas Butlin's old foundry. Oh, look at this, though. And look at the gearing on it. That is pretty mega, isn't it? Oh, oh, what have we got here? What's this? Um, um, yeah, oh right, okay, <laughs> is this, light rail takes off, no, does any of that move, oh the Docklands light rail, might have to have a little look on that later if we get time, cool. that's pretty awesome isn't it, it's an old taxi, um, Looks like an army bus, to be fair. The B-type bus, the bus in front of you is a B-type bus, London's first successful mass-produced motor buses. At the outbreak of the First World War in August 1914, the B-type buses were commandeered for the war effort. Over 1,000 were sent to Europe, most went to France and Belgium, but some went as far as Greece. Mm. Alert, an old tram. Oh, look at that. That's mega. Step. God, look. And forward and reverse has been taken off, of course. Let's have a little. Oh, wow. Oh, dear. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. That's amazing. Look at that. Oh, oh wow. Oh, let's go have a look down here. Here's the trains. That's what we want. Oh, here we go. 1938 tube stock car. Touch screen to explore. Hmm, the services. What services were you? Oh, oh it's been restored. Okay, how about your journeys? Oh, that is your. Oh, wow. Development. Oh wow, look at this, look. Oh dear. 
Oh, what? Is th it looks like a platform. Oh wow! Look. Here. Can't really see much. Let's have a look. Park my matty in here. Oh, I like it. And that's what his cap was like. Oh, wait. Oh, look. Start the simulation. Press. Ah, loading. Oh, right. Okay. Right. Right. Brakes are off. Oh yeah. And we're going. me driving my twain. Come on, let's give it some beans, shall we? Oh, it don't like that, does it? you got to keep it down. driving a twang. Oh, how exciting. Oh, look, we've got a station coming up. Does that mean I'm going to have to stop? I'm going to go back, back a couple. See? Exactly how you do that, right? <laughs> Push a button. Open up the doors for him. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? I like that. Uh, this is the same as the Marston Vale train. D stock. But there was another train over the other side, so let's go have a look, eh? Let's have a look on this side. Designing. Oh, nothing about dismantled railway stations, no? Oh, Stockwell Garage. Oh, look at this. What's this? A Mather and Platt Engineers, number 13, Salford Ironworks. Ironworks? Oh, really? Could I? I think I've gone in the wrong way here. Let's, uh, have a look at the carriage, though. We talk about over-engineered. It looks like a, a tomb, <laughs> doesn't it? The Central London, Central London Railway. Oh, okay. Hmm. The CNSLR. Oh, wow, yeah, look at this. Oh, look at that. Look at all the gearing. Oh wow, oh mate, is my camera going to pick half of this up? Oh look, City and South London Railway. How you doing folks, alright? 
a night at the museum. I bet it's pretty interesting here, isn't it, guys? That's pretty epic, that is. City, City and South London electric locomotive and carriage, 1890. Wow. Touch the screen to explore. Uh, development. Ooh, let's have a look here. Oh, wow, look at that. That's old. And the tunnel section was made to fit, but Awesome. Cab interior. This is epic. Love it. <laughs> oh, there's a cross section. Look. Stockwell Station. Wow, look. It even had a signal box under there as well. Wow, that's awesome. What's this do? Nothing. Okay. And the Smith bench. Cool, that is. And there's a train at the top. Look at that. Love it. Right, I hear there's a steam train upstairs. So we'll go have a look at that in a minute. Is this the power controls 1932 lots of road power stations started generating electric and for the underground in 1905 it was upgraded to, in the 1930s with new equipment as the system explains tunnel water Macau Pond Shielding the mine. With the opening of the Tower Subway in 1870, principle of the Great Shield was a proven success. The steam boom will be the Tigris, 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 the Oh yeah. Different station designs for the elevators. Awesome. Ooh, let's have a look then. Oh, got another London Underground train. Very nice. Look at that, let's have a look first, shall we? Oh. Cap you. to this vehicle whilst we carry out some work. Okay. It's very dark in here, so see if my old flashlight will do anything. Only a little bit. John Hampton. Oh, so this is the, the engine. Oh, okay. So it actually had a locomotive pulling the carriages. Wow, look at that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Sitting in the dark. This one's lit up a little bit. I do. God, like I said, it's very dark in here. <laughs> Still, lights picking up absolutely fine. Lovely, we can deal with that. 
This is the map extension lines into Metroland. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, and this one was run by by Steam. Oh wow, Steam Twain. Have a look up on the roof. So it's amazing. There's so much info here, and I know this video is very quick, but I have actually stopped and had a look at all the little information boards. There's so much inf information here. It's probably best you come up here yourself, or come down here yourself. And have a look. Oh look, King Farquad. Farquad. Actually, he looks like Farquad as well. <laughs> They look like poi rats. Stevenson horse train. Oh, tram. That's a horse pulled. Oh, it's a tram pulled by the old horses. That's pretty epic. I didn't know they did that. Chili Bear Omnibus. Also, again, would have been pulled by horses. Well, I suppose that's it up here. So, um, I wonder what else we can find to do in London. Ah. Got to try and make my way to London Waterloo, and then we'll go to Brentford, and we'll see if we can have a look at the Steam Museum. Let's go for it. The Wellington Transport Museum. How lovely! Awesome. What oh, a nice clock. Oh, 